Hi guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is currently Tuesday. Um, yesterday I was going to film but it was just a very busy um, content day. I had a lot of stuff that I needed to shoot in the house and like it's so weird for me to have to shoot in the house because I always, well you'll know if you follow me on Instagram, I shoot all my content outside and um, like it's very like street style. So now having to adapt to isolation and shooting content inside is difficult and new for me. I mean I know first world problems but it's my job and that's what I've got to do. So yeah, yesterday was a day like just spent like shooting stuff in the house, filming a couple of videos and stuff. I've just filmed my hair care routine which was a really requested video so that will already be live. That's going live tonight so I will link that down below if you haven't seen that yet. And my plan for the rest of the day is to edit this video. I need to go through my drawers because the guy who comes and collects all my e-bloggers bags is coming today so I want to go through all my drawers again really quickly before he comes to check there's nothing I've missed which I can sell. Um, my loungewear drawers are overflowing and I'm already investing in more because obviously we're living in loungewear so I feel like I should give some of my older stuff to a better home so I need to do that. This morning I did yoga, I'm on day 5 now of the 30 day challenge which I told you about in last week's vlog and I'm loving it. I also did a little like ab workout as well. So yeah, it's been a good productive morning so far. What time is it? It is 10 to 11 so I think I'm going to go and I'm going to tidy up this mess from filming. I'm then going to go and make a smoothie and I'm going to sit and edit this so that that's all done and scheduled for tonight and then I'm going to move on to cleaning and decluttering because the house needs a clean to be honest. Like the floors need washing, it needs like the skirt and boards need doing. It's going to be one of them days. It's going to be a cleaning day and I don't want to wear makeup for the rest of the week because I really just want to let my skin breathe. So that is the plan. Today's outfit is this Zara top. Um, you would have seen this if you've seen my Zara haul. It's so nice and you can tie it at the back. Joggers, you've all seen a million times because I wear them in every vlog without fail. And it's my Topshop utility jogger. I've then got on my, actually this little necklace you all ask about quite a lot and it's from Gucci. My mum got me it for Christmas. She got me and my sister matching ones. It was really cute. And these earrings are from Primark. Primark do the best little gold hoops. And I really rate them. And this ring is from Pandora. And I've just popped my hair in a little pony. So that is my outfit of the day. So today's smoothie is spinach, cucumber, a banana and frozen mango with... Oh, your toast is ready. <laughs> with um, almond milk and water. Yum. These two e-bloggers bags they're gonna get picked up now and they should be online in the next couple of weeks so as always I'll link my e-bloggers page down below because the majority of my stuff I do sell on there and um, obviously I get sent quite a lot of stuff for posts and for Instagram and then I end up not being able to wear it because I've got too much stuff and I need space in this small apartment so I try and sell as much as I can and yeah so they come and collect all these bits and they should be online soon Okay, so I've got my lemon and ginger tea and I'm about to tidy the dressing room and the hallway and the bedroom and probably the bathroom. Um, I've been kicked out of the kitchen and living room because Jordan's on meetings and calls all afternoon. So I did want to deep clean the kitchen but that's going to have to be put on hold. I'll maybe do that later tonight or tomorrow or something. Um, but yeah, basically I've got my tea. I always pop on a YouTube video and I just carry the iPad around with me watching videos while I clean. That's really my time to chill, to be honest. I actually find it really therapeutic cleaning, like watching YouTube videos and cleaning. Just does something to my soul. I don't know if that makes me old and weird, but it's just nice. I feel when your whole house is tidy and you can just sit there and be like, yeah, love that. I also had a big delivery from Misguided with loads of new um loungewear pieces sorry if i'm talking quiet we already know by now that jordan is on call so i can't be screaming on about misguided loungewear in the background you know what i mean um but yeah i got a massive delivery of misguided loungewear 
and some really really nice pieces so I think instead of doing a separate haul because I don't know if there's enough for a full haul or is that I don't know I might do a mini little haul in this vlog instead and just show you a couple of the pieces on because there's some really cute bits and I'm excited about it by the way on my brows today I've done um, like soap brows. I usually do it when I'm going out, but I thought I'd make an effort for quarantine. And I'm literally just using, this is a Jack Wills soap, which I think Jordan got for Christmas and it's just been sat in the cupboard. Um, and I literally just used this. I did a tutorial in a couple of videos ago. When I was at home back in Durham, I showed you how I do my soap brows. So go and check that one out to see how I do it. But it's really easy and I love it. And they're like stuck there. And I honestly love, I mean, what is that? I mean, my makeup's atrocious today. I've literally put on brows. Well, I've done everything apart from foundation because I just couldn't be bothered to feel thick foundation on my face, so it's a bit patchy. But anyway, I'm blabbering and procrastinating now, so let's get cleaning. <laughs> For traffic lights And I I really wanna know Really wanna know If I Let me figure out Where the road goes I think I'm gonna like redo this rail Because I feel like it, I don't like all the long coats on it anymore I'm not really wearing thick coats at the minute Apart from like my going, I was gonna buy I was a <laughs> I was about to say dog walking coat. We don't even have a dog. Here I am manifesting my dream life, imagining a little dog. But <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm gonna like give that braille a bit of a clean and tidy. I want it to have like not just coats on, but at the same time, I have nowhere to put my big chunky coats. But I want it to be more like for my new in, like bright, nice like spring bits. I'm gonna have to play around with it now. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up. I do have a slight obsession with checky shirts. This isn't even all of them. I'm not apologising for it either. I really wanna know if I let figure out where the road goes. <sighs> all right. Well. To be honest that wasn't a success i've um took some stuff off which aren't essential but i don't really have anywhere to put them because the wardrobe is full to the brim behind the doors are full of coats behind the bedroom door is also full of coats we really just lack storage in this house i think i need to get some vacuum packs like for like my big puffy coats and fur coats and things because they take up so much room um maybe i look on amazon and see if i can order some of them and then i can look to like really put them away Ugh, stress okay so this room is all done and clean wipe down all the surfaces done all that in terms of the rail, we're just gonna have to leave it as it is for now. There's not a lot we can do. Like, I don't know. I haven't got a lot of storage space and that is my issue in this room. I really wanna mix it up and change it. Like, I'm one of them people who wants to change the room around every week. Jordan's like, Dion, we're not moving the furniture. Um, and to be honest, I don't really know how I would even change it up in here. Cause obviously we've got them um, floating shelves so it's a bit difficult to move anything around. I quite wanted the rail under there but the shelf is too low so i don't know so if anyone has any suggestions of how to lay out this room which is practical i mean i could always take a shelf down and plaster the wall and paint over it sure jordan would allow that <laughs> but yeah room number one is clean okay so i've cleaned all of the house apart from the kitchen and the living room because jordan's still in there we facetimed our friends for a little catch up and I've just got changed into this tracksuit 
which is from the Couture Club. It's like a blue, baby blue ribbed um, tracksuit. Because we are about to go for our hours walk, which is going to go around the river, um, which is really nice, just on our doorstep. So it's nice to just go for a little wander around there. And then we're going to come back and have some tea. I've finished everything I need to do for the day. I've wrote a to-do list for tomorrow. That is the misguided stuff you can see in the mirror. I was going to show you. And then I've decided there's actually enough stuff for a haul. So I'm going to do a haul. So that will be up on Tuesday. Um, and yeah. I'm now just going to sit down. Wait for Jordan to finish this last meeting. Watch some YouTube while I wait. And then we'll be on our way. It feels nice that everything's clean and tidy. I feel like all I've been doing since we've been on lockdown is walking around cleaning up and tidying. But I guess when there's two people living in this space 24-7, it's a lot messier. Um, usually it's just me here all day every day. And Jordan comes obviously home from work on an evening. But I'll always tidy up through the day. But it's obviously a lot different when we're both here in and out of different rooms. But yeah. Not to worry, I'm actually loving having Jordan working from home. It's nice to have company, like, sometimes this job can be a little bit lonely in the sense that you don't really talk to people a lot. Um, or have, like, interaction with people unless I'm going to Manchester or London or I'm going to an event, um, which isn't every single day. It's probably, like, in the past couple of weeks, I probably went to Manchester once a week. Um, and apart from that, I was at home, but then I obviously used to shoot with Rachel once or twice a week so yeah it's nice to have Jordan here and have some company Good morning, happy, what day is it today? Wednesday? Yeah, happy Wednesday. You're balancing on my phone right now, so. Right, someone's ringing me. Let me come back to you. Hello? Hi, yeah it is. All right. Yeah, how can I help you today, Mr. Lavender? I was sat in the car park, just updating the vlog, and then about to go into the shop some alcohol do you think that's an essential item okay sorry about that jordan was ringing me to ask me to get some beer um so yeah as i was saying happy tuesday no dion it's not tuesday <laughs> happy wednesday um here i am looking glam to go and do a food shop um, I had some stuff to shoot this morning i know yesterday i said i don't want to wear makeup for the rest of the week but i had some last minute um content that I needed to shoot so I quickly did that this morning I've just came to Sainsbury's to pick up some food a couple of bits that we need um and I also need to get my dad a birthday card I'm so upset that I'm gonna miss my dad's birthday but I'm sure we will celebrate when all this craziness is over um it is raining and miserable today I've got everything done that I needed this morning I bet you that's Jordan again Actually, I did ask him to send me a list, so sorry, John, for kicking off that a little bit. Um, yeah, so this morning I've shot a couple of photos and I need to film the misguided haul, which I've said I'm going to do. Um, but apart from that, I'm basically done for the week. I've got a couple of emails and then editing to do. And then tomorrow on Friday, I've said I'm going to just no makeup, pamper, chill. Um, so that is the plan. Not a lot more to update on, to be honest. Oh, actually, me and Jordan ordered some um, weights from Amazon. I think I mentioned in a couple of vlogs ago that we wanted to get some... This car always just restarts itself. It scares me every time. Um, that we wanted to get some home weights. Because, um, obviously, we can't go to the gym or anything. So, we ordered some from Amazon after looking everywhere. Because they were literally sold out everywhere. We finally got some from Amazon. I'll link them below. Although, I do think they're probably sold out now. Um, and we basically got like, a dumbbell. It was up to 60 kilograms of weights. And that arrived this morning, so Jordan's over the moon. Um, it's like 
some really like good actually equipment and I said to Jordan like okay we've invested like a bit of money in it now but we actually will take that with us in the future and like have it in a home gym in our dream home when we manifest that um but this morning we did a really good little workout in the garden I did my morning yoga I'm on day six it's still going well it was actually really hard this morning I was like it was like very abs like oriented and I was actually like oh my god I'm in pain um and then Jordan put me through a little PT session in the garden we did boxing squats deadlifts lunges hip thrusts like just like a little booty workout for me and he did shoulders and um, but that was really good it was really nice to get up and do it first thing in the morning we felt fresh afterwards and it's been a productive day we're making the most out of this time at home and yeah i actually really enjoyed driving here um i really miss driving places and i realized that i haven't drove for like over two weeks now because the last time we drove for a food shop jordan drove um and I've really missed driving, so it was really nice. Having a little cruise here, listening to a bit of Drake, you know, it was nice. It was a good vibe, but yeah, I'm gonna go in, do my food shop, and I'll catch up with you all later on when I'm home. Okay, so hi guys, it's a little bit later on in the day. I've just filmed my misguided lingerie haul, and I thought I'd quickly come on, show you my outfit before I get changed to go for a walk this evening. But my outfit, which I've had on today, is this top which is from misguided you'll see it in the hall cardigan from misguided you'll see it in the hall and joggers are from zara and um, they're pretty weathered now to be honest they are the knit ones which were in stock a very long time ago but um yeah just a comfy everyday outfit and i brought this chair in here because i was filming and i really like it i feel like i'm just gonna move it in here every day to just sit and go about my normal life and then whenever we eat dinner I'll take it back in there. That's the plan. Alrighty, we're off on our one hour's exercise. Jordan Lavender tried to bail on me and said he didn't want to go for a walk, but he's been forced. Come here. Ready? Yep. Let's go. Okay, so we are back from our one hour's walk. I'm just looking at Jordan out the window because he's in the garden doing another workout. Crazy boy. We've already done one this morning. Um, I am making enchiladas for tea. Please excuse the way I look. I look pretty... What is that? That's lipstick. I look windswept. Multiple flies went in my eye on that walk. It wasn't a vibe. Anyway, I'm making corn and bean enchiladas. We don't have any chicken and I thought we'd use some of the corn um, frozen pieces, some red kidney beans, and then I'm gonna do um, the fajita barbecue mix, peppers, and onion. I use barbecue sauce as well on top, and then cheese. Usually I'll just use mozzarella like this, but we have a mozzarella bowl, so I'm gonna cut that up and put that on top, because I think that will be delicious. So yeah, I'm gonna, Pop you on a time lapse while I make it. Um, so yeah, basically what I do is I cook all the ingredients and then I make the wraps, cover them in cheese, cover them in more sauce, put them in the oven for 15 minutes so it goes crispy. Um, that's basically it. It's a really easy, quick meal and it is delicious. So I'm gonna pop you on a time lapse and get cooking. Take me in your arms, do just what you want You're the one I trust, I belong, I belong to you And I'll always be around, when I need some loving baby And I'll never let you down, let you down, let you down I'm your song, can you playing all my melodies? There's no one else Okay, so I am... Um... I'm not gonna do beans anymore because I don't know if you've seen the battle that I had with the tin opener, but our tin opener's basically broke and there is basically tomato juice all over me and I'm not gonna do it again and go through half an hour of trying to get that open. So instead, even though it's gonna be a lot of carbs, who cares? We've worked out. I'm gonna add rice instead to bulk them up a little bit. So I'm just gonna add that in now, fry it up with that. Before we start putting it in the oven. Written in the stars, you will be 
finished product look at that cheesy barbecue-ness i can't cope honestly unreal everyone needs to make this and eat it right now jordan i'm trying to do a video so can you not listen to that please thanks um excuse the dishwasher but jordan went to the shop and came back with the best desserts ever these goo pots are literally our favorite thing ever the salted caramel cheesecake ones, they are unreal. Then this is a toffee yoghurt. That's a toffee yoghurt and that's a salted caramel. A spiced salted caramel and pear yoghurt. Help. Good morning everyone. Happy Friday. Um, Yesterday I just didn't pick up the camera to be honest. I was having a no makeup admin. Sat on the couch all day. Day. And... I was gonna pick up and vlog it and I thought like what's the point in propping the camera up to watch me sitting on the couch editing, doing emails. I did like a QA on my Instagram. So I was actually just sat on the couch all day and had a really nice day and I think I mentioned in the vlog that I wanted to do that. I wanted to have a day of not putting makeup on and not getting content and not forcing it as such. Um so it's Friday now. I've just had a shower. Well I did my um 30 minute yoga and then I did my 30 minute hit and then I had a shower and I've just filmed a little clip for Lula Bells basically we're doing a IGTV for Lula Bells where like I start like this and then I've got my hair done and it's like a transformation thing and um, so I did the little first half of that and I've got some eye patches on last time I wore these on YouTube everyone was commenting like oh my god you're wearing them the wrong way around and I was like whoa soz but I like them the other way around. I put them the right way now so I don't get butchered. But I like them the other way around because that's the thick part and that covers more of this part. I don't want hydration and deep puffiness on my cheekbone. I like my cheekbones quite puffy. But um, yeah, so let me wear my eye patches. Whichever way you want to, okay, girls? Wear your eye patches however you want. But yeah, I'm just having a coffee and I'm about to do my makeup and I thought I would just do it on camera. Um, and we can have a little chat while I'm doing it because I've been doing this makeup look for the past like week just because I don't really want to wear foundation when I'm just in the house I've really can't be bothered with it. it makes my face feel really like heavy and I just can't be bothered so I've just been putting a little bit of makeup on and thought I would just do it on camera don't know why I'm rambling so much okay so I'm going to start off with taking these off I've had them on for about 20 minutes I'd say. These are really nice eye patches. Let me show you which ones they are. Oh, they're so sticky. That's not fun. Um, they are the Nip and Fab Dragon's Blood Eye Mask and you get three in a pack. Um, I've used two and they're just really nice. They're really thin, hydrating and they're not like sticky. Like I hate when stuff like that you take off and then you feel like you've got a washy face. Like I leave it in and just rub in the excess and they're really, really nice. They also have a um, lip mask which i haven't tried maybe i'll try that um yeah so i've done my usual skincare um i think i'm going to do a dedicated video to my skincare routine because i've put in a vlog when i first started doing youtube so it's changed by now um and quite a lot of you have been asking so let me know down below if you'd like me to do that and i can do like a dedicated skincare vid Okay, so first things first, we're going to do our soap brows. I know I've already done this in a previous video, but I've been doing it all week this week and I guarantee people are going to ask me how I do it. Um, so I get a soap, which this is literally, like I said, a Jack Wills soap that Jordan got for Christmas. And I spray it with my vitamin E hydrating mist. If you watch my videos, you know about this. This is my Holy Grail product. Wow, that smell of coconuts in summer. Please lord let us have a holiday this year. So once that has like absorbed in, not absorbed but it's like not soaking wet, I just get a spoolie brush and like rub it through like that. 
literally rub it through, get it covered in soap. I will then, where's my mirror? Just brush through my brows in the direction I want them to go. So I like them like sticking up quite a bit. You know the vibe. Um, so I'll just brush through, keep coating back into the soap. Jordan's like, Dion, why is the soap got foundation in? I was like, because it's not used for hand washing, although it can be used for hand washing as well in this time, but I'm using it for soap brows. Anyway, brush through. And then they will start to look like this. So they'll start to go up in the direction you want. And I just basically keep going with that adding product brushing them up and then this is what i feel makes them look the way they look so this is the iconic london it's disgusting because it's full of makeup and soap um but it's for their brow kit but i use it just to brush my brows up into the direction that i want them to go in and this like really flattens them to the skin and makes them like stay in place i feel because it's more like heavy duty than the spoolie brush really like puts them into the place and that's about it that is my so at home i mean i've got a spot in that brow which is brilliant um at home lamination silk brows and if i'm having a no makeup day Am I in focus? Yeah. If I'm having a no makeup day, sometimes I'll just do that and it, I feel like it just makes my face look a bit more like put together. It looks like I've just had my brows laminated and obviously I love brow lamination and as soon as we're out of this lockdown, you best believe a pamper video is coming your way where I'm going to be getting all the treatments done. Okay, for concealer, I've been using the Nip and Fab concealer i got this in a pr box and i showed you it a couple of weeks ago but this is shade 05 and i'm really really enjoying it and i'm just putting it under my eyes a little bit literally just little dabs and what i like about this is it's not super light it's more like my skin tone so i use it just for coverage and um, when i'm not wanting to wear foundation i'll cover my spots that i've got on my chin at the minute um i think that's probably it maybe i've got a little bit of redness on my cheeks so just a little bit on there and then to actually highlight my under eye before I blend this in, I use this concealer, which the writing has basically run off, but it's Barry M all night long full coverage concealer, and it's in shade one milk. And I really, really like this. It's nearly run out to be honest, but it's um a really nice found it foundation. It's a really nice concealer. I'm such a bad thank god I don't do um makeup tutorials often. I literally just don't know what I'm talking about but a little bit under my eye and it's really nice for highlighting your under eye I then use this brush which is Style Pro and it's G105 I don't know where you can buy these um, I also got these in a PR package but I'll try and find them and link them I got a pack and it was like a 5 and they were really nice and I'm just buffing that in I put it over my eyelids as well, making sure not to go into my brows, bring it a little bit around my nose. I think this probably has some excess product on as well, so just like a little bit, just to give you a little bit of coverage really. I'll bring it up on my forehead. And that's it really for my base, for my skin. Just gives me a little bit more of like a colour rather than being red and patchy which i like um and then i use my highlight drops which is my barry m liquid chrome highlighter drops i actually did an order from iconic london with some of their products coming and i used to use the iconic london glow drops no i think they're called like illuminating drops but i ran out and that's the reason i got these and then i never ended up rebuying because i like these but that was long-winded but i've got a delivery coming from iconic london with a couple of their products i think i'm going to do a dedicated like glowy makeup look on my instagram so keep an eye out for that but i put three dots on each cheekbone a little bit on the center of my nose a little bit on the bridge a little bit on my cupid's bow 
I then use this brush to just rub it in, nothing precise, literally just buff it in and then up to my forehead as well. I'll even sometimes pull it a little bit on my eyelids because why not? Gotta look glam for self isolation. Um, down the nose. I always put a bit too much on my nose, so I'll go off with my concealer brush just to chill it out a bit. And then into my Cupid's bow. And as you can see, it just gives you a nice, healthy, fresh glow. I then go in with my Hoola bronzer. I love this brush, it's so nice for contouring and just getting in the um, cheekbones. So I'll just take that into my cheekbone. <laughs> you have to pull that face to enhance your cheekbones. I'll do it on my forehead and down each side of my nose. And then down my jaw. I'll then grab my MAC Give Me Sun bronzer, which is nearly run out, and just go over like the places where I didn't really specifically contour or more just just to blend it all out. I then take NARS Taj Mahal. Um, blusher. I love this blusher. If you've watched any of my other makeup tutorials, I mix between this and a lighter orangey one. But when I haven't got a lot of foundation, I like to use this just to brighten up my cheeks. So I just dab it in and work it into my cheeks, a little bit on my nose, forehead, just to make it look like you've naturally caught the sun. There we go, that's that. And then finally, over the top of my soap brows, I just add a couple of hair strokes to thicken out places where they're a little bit sparse. So like here, um, the front bit here, just that little bit, just to make them a bit more arched and a bit more full. Um, and I'll literally just do little lines really lightly. So you can see the difference in that one, now that I've filled it, compared to that one at the front and just in this bit here. I just take this again and dab at the front just because when I was putting the brushes through sometimes it lifts some of the hair so that just sets it in place again and then finally I'll just add a little bit of mascara literally the littlest bit just to my top lashes and um, I'll do this off camera because no one needs to see my mascara face on a Friday morning um but yeah a little bit of mascara on the top actually I'll add a little bit on the bottom why not it's Friday and then that's it apart from lips I'll do lips as well okay so for lips I use NYX suede matte lip liner in shade London to line all over the lips I then use this which is actually an eyeliner from Morphe in the shade trendsetter and I use this literally just on the cupid's bow and in that tiny bit there and it looks really really dark but I'll show you what I do so I'll just go so it looks a bit crazy but then I'll just blend it out with my finger dab it down and I just feel like that adds a little bit of depth and dimension to your lips makes them look more fuller and then the lipstick that i always 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 wear is 
Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Lips in shade Platinum Blonde. And I always wipe the excess off the top because there's always a lot of product and I'll just dab it on and then blend it in. And then again, go back in with your ring finger and I'll just dab it in. And that is my everyday glowy, easy, quick makeup look. So I'm just going to go and do my hair and then film the rest of my Lula Bells content and then I'll pick you up because I've had a couple of deliveries and I want to show you some little bits which I got. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Hello. Okay, so it's a little bit later on in the day now. Um, okay, sorry, I just got distracted. But I've just shot my content and what I needed for a couple of brands for the weekend. I've got a hot lemon water. I've been loving hot lemon water. Sometimes I'll put a bit of ginger in but... After I've had like food, I like to just have something like this to just, I don't know, it just makes my stomach feel a lot more settled. Um, sometimes I'll have a green tea or sometimes I'll have hot lemon water and I always drink with a straw because lemon is bad for your teeth. So yeah, I thought I would show you a couple of new bits which I got this morning in the post that I'm loving. And the first thing, let me just clean it because it's dirty already, is this phone case. You can see yourself balanced on a candle. Um, I actually have the tripod there, but, well, I can mirror it so you can see, but it's too high. Anyway, um, it's basically this phone case from a company called Merch, and it says, self-love, I am everything I need, and it's a mirror, and I've always wanted a phone case that's a mirror because it's just handy for life. Um, yeah, and I just thought that was really cute, so I'll link that down below. And I love the self-love because we all know more about self-love. Um, I just think it's really, really cute. So that was the first thing I got. The second thing I got is from the Avenue. So they sent me, I'm working with Bo Avenue on Instagram. They sent me a nice box with some underwear in and they're honestly gorgeous. Why am I so exposed? Okay, that's better. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so they sent me two sets and they are absolutely stunning. Like, I feel like I've got a newfound love for underwear now and I'm obsessed. So the first set is this pinky baby blue lace, but it's got, so this like, that's not pattern, that's just fabric there. And that's what I love. When I used to work at Victoria's Secret, I used to wear their Wicked bra, which was basically that style, all lace and a little bit of like underwire at the bottom. I just think they're so delicate and girly and sexy and cute. Um, so that is the first one, which I love, and the matching thong, again, just really nice. It's got like the blue stitching through, which is just a really nice detail. And then the second bra, which I got, is this pink one. This box is going to fall off me, let me just move it. This pink one, this has um, removable pads, which I like a lot. Um, I usually remove the pads in basically all my bras because I don't really like the look of it. I prefer like lacy, delicate things like I just said. Um, but yeah, lacy, pink, nice detail. And the matching... Oh, nice! So this is more of like a Brazilian cheeky bum style and these are really flattering I feel. Um, they look really nice on your bum if you don't want to wear a thong. So yeah, that was a cute little parcel from Bo Avenue. My hair is so greasy, but I'm just putting off washing it because I don't need to. Like, what's the point? And I just wanted to get it off my face, but yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. It is obviously Friday now, and tomorrow we're going to have a couple of drinks probably in the house. I think I might do the bungle bingo thing um, that people were doing. Like, it's like a live bungle bingo, so that's what it came to in this house. I think I might do that. And then Sunday, the weather's actually meant to be really, really nice. It's like 19 degrees, so we might like go for a long walk and then sit in the garden all afternoon. So that is the plan. Um, sorry if you find these vlogs boring. Obviously, I'm 
in the house. I've left the house once this week to go to the shop. Well, I went for walks, obviously, but to actually go out to do something other than walking, I've only done that once to go and do the food shop. So I get that it's not the most exciting content, but I'm enjoying still vlogging. It gives me something to do. And it, I find it like, weirdly enough, like talking to you and vlogging and filming makes me feel less lonely or um isolated so yeah let me know if you want me to keep on doing these vlogs and as far as i'm aware i will um i'm now doing one video through the week and one video on a sunday sunday will always be a vlog and then one through the week instead of two just because there's only so many loungewear hauls a girl can do but yeah if there's any specific videos you'd like me to do in particular or anything really um just let me know and I'm also like active on Instagram every day still so go over and follow me on there because I'm trying to do as much as I can on stories like through the week when I'm not uploading on YouTube. <sighs> Breathe. So yeah that is everything from this vlog and thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you in the next video. Bye!